holes for them about 20 years ago. That, geez, 22 years ago. I think it was 91. Anyway, uh, I was digging pole, post holes and I don't know, I'm going right along and I have a Belltech which has down pressure so it can dig through anything. Well, for some reason my Belltech uh, uh, post hole digger broke. I mean, it snapped the main shaft off on this thing. It was ridiculous. So I went inside and asked a woman to, if I could use the phone. She says, well, I'll just, I'll call them. Give me the number. So I gave her the number. She comes back out. She says, hey, the, the telephone just isn't working. I was like, oh, no? No, it's not working. She was like, well, all right. I'll go out and see what I can do. I was just going to go home. So she called them. Well, she couldn't call a neighbor. She went to the neighbors, and their phone wasn't working. But at that time, the cellular telephones were new, and they had one. So they called my dad. Well, turns out I hit the fiber optic line that went under the ground and shut the phones off to tens of thousands of people. Uh, I think all of Doylestown was out of telephone network. Um, yeah. So anyways, they wanted to sue me for $80,000 for uh, hitting this fiber optic line, which was not clearly marked. Well, apparently it was marked on the other side of the road and I should have knew that it was there. Well, I didn't know it was there. I did not know it was there. But anyways, I had to make statements to the insurance company and the uh, AT&T at that point on this fiber optic line and how I did not know it was there and how I made the farmer mark the lines out, the holes out. So my insurance company did not pay for it because his and he marked out the holes where I was supposed to drill, and he then the liability was shifted to him. But the Joseph was here laughing like hell while I was telling the story because tens of thousands of people were the, without telephone lines. But back in 1991, the internet wasn't really that big, and uh, if it was even around at that point, I think it was, but not really much. Um, I guess we had uh, land. I think it was LAN is what they called it. You could call other people and stuff over your computer. Uh, email was fresh and new. But anyway, if it happened today, they would probably lynch me up and kill me. But anyway, I guess that's my story for today. Thanks for